just coming back from AutoZone getting a special pulley tool um, for my power steering pump for the pulley. And so this is the noise that my car is making. I don't know if you can hear it, but basically it's a whining and groaning noise. And so I'm going to change out the power steering pump in order to fix that noise and stop it. It started raining right when I'm fixing to do it, but maybe it'll stop. about to change my power steering pump for uh, my 2004 Ford Mustang. Uh, it's V6 and a 3.9 liter engine. And so I'm going to start off by showing what all tools you need. My sockets, shop towels. I uh, went to AutoZone and um, got the pulley puller and it also is the installer as well in the kit. And that's the power steering pump, the new one. Uh, needle nose pliers, pressing wrench, uh, there are my manuals, uh, Chilton and Haynes manuals. Uh, this is just a, a plastic, you know, one of those little Ziploc bags to cover up the hoses from contamination. And then this is my power stand pump, uh, well, power stand fluid. And then, of course, I have gloves as well as my safety glasses for safety. As you can see, I also have a big drip pan down there where everything is on. So I'm gonna put that under the car for when I take the hoses off and the power steering fluid drips into the pan. Now I'm going to use my ratchet and socket to um, loosen the tension on the serpentine belt so that I can uh, get the belt out of the way. And that goes down here. And then you get it and turn it counterclockwise until the, the tension loosens off the belt. The low pressure holds off of the reservoir. It sticks right into the side right there if you can see it. And I uh, did that using an 18 millimeter wrench, which makes it a lot easier than trying to use like a crutchet wrench. You can rent one from uh, AutoZone and they'll let you rent it out for like $40 and then give you your money back when you return it. And um, the instructions on how to use it is inside of the uh, kit. So basically, you use a 13 16th on this end, and then you put a 5 8 socket on this end, and you turn, you know, turn it until it pulls the pulley off. And you keep, you just tighten it until it comes, the pulley comes off the shaft. Now, nobody told me that it was going to take a lot of pops to do it. I thought it was just one pop and then it comes off, but it's several pops, and it slowly comes off. So, in this case, like my friend told me, a mechanic friend, he said that in this, pop, in this case, popping is a good thing. with the using the puller tool and uh, used all my little strength so I'm glad that part is over with so now I can start removing those three those bolts right there in the bracket and pull the power steam pump off now taking the bolts out of the bracket that hold in the power steam pump and don't forget to turn your uh, ratchet over to loosen you know in order to loosen because you were tightening when you were getting that pump out so you're going the whole opposite way 
finally got the old power steering pump out and it was in this here bracket took those three bolts out and now the moment that you have all been waiting for the new power steering pump so i'm going to begin to put that one in and after that i'm going to uh after I get everything hooked back up, uh, along with the serpentine belt and everything, I am going to bleed the system to make sure, you know, that it's operating properly and no air bubbles and everything in the reservoir. Up on, and I line the bolts and the bolt holes up. And after I finish tightening them, then I'm going to torque them to about 30 foot-pounds, which is like 360 inch-pounds and um it's probably best to use a 15 millimeter socket when you're you know tightening the bolts this bolts torqued and now i'm going to put the pulley onto the shaft of the new power steering pump And now I'm going to use the installer side of the specialty pulley installer. So you screw it all the way in. Right now I have a 9 sixteenths on this end and then 18 millimeter on this end, but uh, it might vary depending on which, which one you use. And then you just keep tightening it until the pulley is tight and it can't tighten anymore. And it's the shaft and the center part of the pulley, they're flush with each other. And that's how you know that it's pressed on properly. So I wasn't able to record everything that I just did while hooking everything back up. But I'm ready to be done. So I have, uh, I put the hose back on, put the Teflon O-ring on. And instead of using the tool to slide it on, I just got the, put some warm water on it. Uh, or either you can just use some, some power steering fluid and then kind of pull it, you know, a little bit with your hands and then place it over the threads and slide, slide it down you, with your fingernail to the next thread until it gets where it needs to go. And then with the hose, the high pressure hose in the back, you can't really see it that well, but it, uh, it has a clamp on it. So it's best to use, I have a... Uh, regular needle nose pliers but i also have these well these the regular ones and then i have these ones with the bent ends which is better it kind of helps you grip the clamp a little bit better when you're trying to uh kind of release it in order to slide the holes over the tube old power steering uh, cap off and uh, now I'm going to add I just finished adding power steering fluid new power steering fluid into the system and you're gonna add that until it reaches the cold mark and then whenever you start it let it run and then shut the engine down for a second and after you do that then you see if the level has dropped if so add more and then after that you can bleed the system by turning the wheels from left to right and if there are air bubbles in the system uh, in the fluid then you know to keep bleeding the system until there are no more air bubbles then after that you know when you get finished with the air bubbles and the level the fluid level stays the same then you're pretty much done and then you can kind of go take it for a test drive to see if the noise and everything kind of quieted down 
can see I'm very hot and sweaty. Excuse that, please. But uh, I just finished bleeding the system, and uh, now I'm going to check to see if uh, there are less air bubbles than there were at first. I'm about to check. Okay. There are some air bubbles, so I'm gonna keep bleeding it. Thing hooked back up and running, and I checked the reservoir and the bubble. There were no more bubbles in the reservoir, and it's running good. And there is less sound as far as the power steering, to, uh, the turning, and everything. So now it's quiet. You don't hear the loud uh, whining and groaning noise. So I think I did a pretty good job. So that concludes the video. Tell me if you like it, if you don't like it, whatever.